hello guys welcome to another video in the series of coding or uh, today we have with us a problem that is called check if number is a sum of powers of 3 so we are given an integer n and we have to return true if it is possible to represent n as the sum of distinct powers of 3 otherwise we have to return false so an integer y is a power of 3 if there exists an integer x such that y equal to 3 power x so let's try to understand this so to understand and appreciate this let's just quickly look at an example of binary representation so that uh, we can solve this problem so suppose uh, we have to convert the number 12 to binary representation how do we do that it's very simple right so first we make some dashes so what do these represent these represent the weights 2 power 0 2 power 1 2 power 2 and 2 power 3 so what do i mean by this so let me also write 2 power 4 okay so 2 power 0 is 1 2 power uh, 1 is 2 2 power 2 is 4 2 power 3 is 8 2 power 4 is 16 right so i have uh, these weights and using these weights i have to try to make the number 12 how can i do that right so what can i do i can pick up 8 so i pick up 8 that means i put one here then i pick up 4 so i put another one here so when i pick up 8 so what I do is, first time I picked up 8, I had to make 12. So, when I picked up 8, I made the sum from 12 to 4. Because now I have to make only 4. I have picked up 8, means I have made 8, I have to just make 4. So now next time when I am making 4, I do 4 minus 4 and that gives 0. So now I have to make no more and finally I get 0. That means I made whatever number I wanted to make. So i i put 0 0 for the remaining so this is the binary representation and it is made up of these quantities right so 12 is nothing but 8 plus 4 or 12 is nothing but 2 power 3 plus 2 power 2 so this is the binary representation right let's take another example to appreciate it okay so if i have to make some number like say 7 how do i do that so again 2 power 0 2 power 1 2 power 2 let me write okay so 2 power 0 is uh, 1, 2 power 1 is 2, 2 power 2 is 4, 2 power 3 is 8. So what I do, I have to just pick up weights, right? So now 8 is greater than 7, so I need not consider these. Because from 8, how can I make 7? So I need to make 7, so I'll make it up by sum of smaller numbers only. So I take the biggest number, 4. So 7 minus 4 is 3. So first I pick up 4. That means now I have picked up 4. Okay, and now only 3 is yet to be made. So how can I make 3? So I pick up the next bigger number 2. 3 minus 2 is 1. So I write 1 here. Then I uh, I still have to make 1. So I pick up the next biggest number 1. 1 minus 1 is 0. So I make 0. So that means I have made uh, the possible sum that I wanted to make. And I write 1 here. So I have made up uh, 7 using 4 plus 2 plus 1. So I have made up 7 using basically just 2 power 2 plus 2 power 1 plus 2 power 0. Okay, so this is binary depression. Why I did this is because it's going to help us solve this problem. So similarly, uh, we can, you know, we have to just represent in the uh, base system of 3 in place of 2 now. Okay, we have to just do the same thing. Okay, let's consider this example itself. We have to make 12. But now instead of weights of powers of 2, we have powers of 3. So this is what is the question. So so let me write the same thing so 3 power 0 is 1 3 power 1 is 3 3 power 2 is 9 3 power 3 is 27 okay so now let me start picking up weights 27 is greater than 12 so let me ignore that so i will start picking up weights from 9 so i pick up weights from 9 okay so now i subtract 9 from 12 because i took 9 from the sum now my sum is just 3 i have to just make 3 more so how can i make 3 more i try to pick up the next weight so i have 3 minus 3 and it gives 0 right so i have already uh, made 0 so i need not use other numbers so 12 is basically just 3 power 2 plus 3 9 plus 3 is 12 so uh, i can make 12 right because in the end i got this quantity as 0 okay let's take some example uh, where maybe we cannot make okay let's consider some example like 17 so if it is 17 again we try to you know take this example i write the weights 3 power 0 3 power 1 3 power 2 3 power 3 so 3 power 0 is 1 3 power 1 is 3 3 power 2 is 9 3 power 3 is 27 and uh, 
I try to pick up weights. So I need not take twenty seven because twenty seven is larger than seventeen. Let me take nine. Okay, I take nine. So now what is the remaining number that I have to make? From seventeen, I have already made nine. My sum is now eight. So I have to make eight. Let me see if I can make eight. Okay, I've already picked up nine. So let me pick the next number. So eight minus three. Eight minus three is five. So I have uh, used this three also. Okay, now next. I can use the next number. So five minus one is four. Now I am still short of four. I have used up all the numbers, but I still couldn't make because my final answer is not zero because four is still remaining, right? So what I have done, I have tried to make seventeen using nine plus three plus one. I have tried to use all the weights that I have, but the weights that I have are not able to give me seventeen. I am still falling short by four, right? So if this had been zero, if final would have been zero, means I would have been able to make the number nine plus three is twelve, twelve plus one is thirteen. I am not able to make seventeen. So this is uh, what it is. Okay, and let me just consider one last example before going to the code. So let me try to make thirty. Okay, so how can I make thirty? Let me just write three power zero, three power one, three power two, three power three. Okay, three power four will exceed. Okay, three power four is eighty one. So that will exceed. Let me write all other powers. So I need not use this because eighty uh, one is larger than thirty. I have to make thirty, right? So I pick up the uh, largest weight. So thirty, thirty minus twenty seven. Thirty minus twenty seven is three. Okay, so I have uh, used up twenty seven, and now I have to make only three, right? So now I go to the next number. So next number, which is in line, says that I can make. Three. I have to just make three, so I need not take nine because if I take nine, I will get negative number, right? So I will take three only. So I will take a number which is smaller than the sum. So now sum is three. I have to make three. Three minus three is zero. So I finally reach zero. That means I have used. So if it was the three system, this would have been the representation. If if it was the base system of three, this would have been the representation, just like we write binary. And we have just used these two quantities. So thirty is just twenty-seven plus three. So thirty is just three power three plus three power one. So I have been successfully been able to make thirty because finally I am getting zero. That means I have consumed the weights required to make the number which I wanted to make. So now let me write the code of this. So code of it is should be simple because uh, if you have understood logic, it's a three line code. So if n is less than equal to ten power seven is given. So what we will do? So we cannot have a number which is greater than ten power seven. So what we will do? We will take power of three, which is smaller than this particular quantity, because you need to subtract the powers of three from this number n. So we will take the power of three, which is just closest to this, but smaller than this. So we will start from that. So that is fourteen. So ten three power fourteen will be uh, just closest to this ten power seven. So I will start from fourteen. So for int i equal to fourteen. I greater than equal to zero. I minus minus. Okay, so basically I is just the powers that I am going to take. So it will be clear once I write this. Okay, so let me write number. So int number is equal to power of three power i. So power of three uh, comma i just gives three power i. Okay, so in this case when we consider thirty, so we are just uh, you know initially what we will do is uh, we are starting from i equal to fourteen, but uh, those quantities will anyway be larger. Right, so we will start from three power uh, three only in this case. So i will be three first. I will be three. So you will get three power three. So you will get three power uh, three. Okay, which is twenty seven. Now what you have to do is you have to uh, subtract twenty seven from n. Okay, so if n minus x is greater than equal to zero, that means if you are successfully able to subtract. Uh, so I mean number n minus number. So if you are successfully able to subtract this number. From our n, okay. If n minus number is greater than equal to zero, for example, in this case, when i becomes equal to three, then you will be able to subtract twenty-seven from thirty. If n is thirty, thirty minus twenty-seven will be equal to uh, three, right? So you will be able to subtract. So this is n. This is n or uh, o or which is number n minus number, okay. And if that is uh, fine, then What you will do is n minus equal to number. So what I am doing, then I am subtracting it. So now my number, which was thirty, now number becomes thirty minus twenty-seven, right? So my number becomes three because I have already made twenty-seven successfully. 
from 30 30 was the number that i wanted to make 30 was n 30 was the sum that i wanted to make so from 30 i have subtracted 27 now i need to make only 3 so i reduced my number by okay so i reduced my n by number so this this variable is confusing but uh, i do hope that logic is clear so uh, this becomes equal to 3 so now my n has taken the value of 3 okay now if any time uh, n becomes equal to 0 right so next time what will happen is next time in this iteration i will become equal to 2 okay when i becomes equal to 2 so so let me write i becomes equal to 2 so 3 power 2 is 9 so now uh, n is 3 when we check 3 minus 9 okay that will be a negative number so this if n minus number greater than equal to 0 condition will not be satisfied so uh, we will just go to the next iteration so in the next iteration uh, i will become equal to 1 so 3 power 1 is 3 then 3 minus 3 is equal to 0 so now we have given this condition n minus number greater than equal to 0 so this condition will be satisfied so n will become equal to 0 so n becomes equal to 0 right so now if n is 0 we can return true that means we have successfully been able to make the number otherwise at last we can return false okay and now i took the example by starting from 3 power 3 but what it will do is it will start from 3 power 14 because i just explained that we have to take n less than equal to 10 power 7 so that is the maximum case that they can give us so what will happen even if your n is 30 okay when we start from 3 power 14 when we try to subtract okay when we try to subtract 3 power 14 okay so uh, number is 3 power 14 n is 30 so 30 minus um let's say 3 power 14 that will be a negative quantity it will be a large negative quantity so we need not worry n will just remain as n and it will keep iterating it will keep decrementing i okay so this will become 13 this will become 12 and so on unless we reach uh, 3 power 3 okay when once we reach this then um, so 3 power 3 is 27 30 minus 27 is uh, greater than or equal to 0 so then we n will uh, subtract and we will get the iteration that we just saw so i hope that this was helpful let me just run and see if it is so uh, accepted so it is fine for this let me just submit and see if it is accepted so it's an accepted solution that's it thank you for being patient and listening